and that in itself was a record achievement, even for an automobile manufacturer. Exhaustive tests in the Canadian Rockies followed. Finally, the Army approved a model for production, and one of the first fleets of weasels was delivered to Camp Hay. Meanwhile, those engineers, never satisfied, were continuing their experiments and conducting their own tests in the rugged, yes, and frigid north woods of Michigan. That's typical of automotive manufacturing methods, hard-headed and persistent, and always looking for ways to improve. The company's own engineers and drivers were following their usual practice of tearing them down to make them better, finding out what makes them tick or stop ticking. The first production model had its engine mounted in the rear, and it performed well on level ground. But when the weasel started to nose up a steep grade and tried to claw a footing in the loose snow, it had a tendency to dig itself into a foxhole. The engineers licked that in an improved model with better weight distribution and greatly improved traction. Among other things, the engine, a Studebaker champion, was switched from the rear end to the front. This new model was called the Corrigan after the wrong way flyer of the Atlantic because, as compared with the first model, it appeared to be going the wrong way. In the lead are two weasels of the first model. The third is a Corrigan, which the company built on its own initiative. But even this model didn't go into quantity production. The engineers next incorporated all the improvements in design they had test proved with the Corrigan into a third model, one that would carry more men and haul a heavier load. And this officially became the M29. The top isn't metal is not armored. A removable fabric top serves to temper the chill winter wind. Camouflage to fade into snowy landscape, the weasels went on and on for days of grueling tests. on a continuous track made up of rubber padded steel plates. The new models had wider tracks and also twice as many bogey wheels to spread out the weight. Bogey wheels are those rollers you see above the track. about desert sand. Snow hasn't stopped them, but take them out on the Indiana dunes and see what happens. Well, they were plenty frisky when the soldiers set them to climbing up and down the steep and shifting sand dunes that are ordinarily considered impassable. Those weasels leaped around, cutting figure eights in the loose sand to give a dramatic demonstration of their maneuverability. The weasel would have no trouble negotiating a beach. got its feet wet, and from then on, there was just no holding it back. They designed a bow and skirts to give it speed, and they added rudders just in case the weasel should take it into its head to go swimming.
trotted on the ground. That is, if you can call ground that slimy, sticky gumbo of the Louisiana swamp. Its performance was astonishing in the swamps, on muddy river bottoms, and hopping over rice pads. this time, the weasel kept its feet on the ground, but now came the water test. And so one day, the weasel rolled out of the mud and made straight for a stream. From the beginning, the hull had been made watertight. Now, the wide tracks acted as propellers, and with rudders, it steered as pretty as you please. Out of all this came the water weasel. It carries three men besides the driver. And it carries them just about everywhere, in deep water, in thick swamp grass, in clinging mud. Down in the swamps of Louisiana, the weasel proved it could climb out of a deep channel, scale a steep bank, and take off across country without bothering about roads. Watch them as they maneuver over this punishing terrain of back-breaking grades laid out in checkerboard pattern, like a faded old quilt. Not only has Studebaker built the weasel in large volume under contract with the Ordnance Department, Army Service Forces, but it also has helped to train expert drivers and maintenance crews for the Army. Drivers that can jockey these sure-footed vehicles over hills and hummocks that would twist a snake's backbone. Incidentally, just for the record, that is not a jug in the back of the weasel, but a spotlight. Tested and proved in the snows of Colorado and Michigan, in the swamps of Louisiana, and over the sand dunes of Indiana, the weasels have seen action in Italy and France, in Greenland and the Aleutians, and now are contributing to the defeat of the Japs in the Pacific area. Go get them, weasel.